This is my jingle. I made it up on the spot. You know, that was supposed to be symbolic, but apples are actually really good. Hello, Empire. So here's the deal. I already had a video recorded about a week and a half ago, but I'll tell you all about that at the end. For now, on to the video. So I know it's a little late, but now people can't say I'm cashing in on all the hype. Because that's not what I'm doing. But I still want to put my thoughts on the subject out there. Steve Jobs. I've been an Apple fanboy ever since I got my first Mac. Which was actually this computer about five or six years ago. When I got my first iPod for Christmas one year, it was pretty much glued to me for the next year straight. My iPhone? Well, okay, I don't have an iPhone, but I would if I had AT&T or Verizon. Point is, without Steve Jobs, more than likely none of these products would ever have been invented. Or even if they still would have been, they wouldn't be exactly the way they are right now. His innovative ideas about products and marketing were amazing. Without him, I honestly think a lot of things would be a lot different. I mean, even on YouTube. One of the reasons that YouTube took off is because there are so many good content creators. Many of these content creators wouldn't have even started creating content the way they did if they didn't have access to easy-to-use editing software. If you ask, many, if not most, of the big YouTubers probably say they started on iMovie. And I've heard many people argue that Steve Jobs didn't actually create the products that we give him credit for. And of course he didn't make every product by hand. He had teams to help him with that. However, his ideas are what he deserves credit for. The ideas for the products, the ideas for the marketing, the drive he had for his company. He helped to grow his company, which helped develop the products that we know and love today. There aren't many people in this world that I truly have any desire to meet and shake their hand. Except, of course, for every member of the Empire. But Steve Jobs was one of those people to me. I'm upset that I'll never get to do that. Rest in peace, Steve Jobs. Now that that's done with, a couple more things I wanted to talk about. One of them is this whole Occupy protesting that's going on right now. If you haven't heard about it, get out from under your rock. If you've heard of it, but don't really know what it is or why they're doing it or what's going on, I'm pretty sure most of them don't either, so join the club. Now a disclaimer before I say anything here. I hate politics. Really not a fan. In my eyes, it's all just a corrupt system, and I don't like playing games. And that is all that politics is. Alright, disclaimer over. So I'm not going to be getting into the larger issues of the protest. What I do want to talk about is what I've seen here in my hometown of Atlanta. So evidently, the epicenter of Occupy Atlanta is being held in Woodruff Park downtown. So I went there to check it out, see what people were doing, see what they were talking about, see what was going on, just kind of poke around a little bit. What I found, and again, this is what I saw with my eyes, was a bunch of people, mostly homeless, talking amongst themselves about what they want to, slash needs to, slash should happen. Basically a giant circle jerk. No real protesting going on. There was no leader. There was no person with a megaphone shouting what they want. It just didn't really feel like a real protest. I mean, take away the crudely made signs and all you have is a makeshift homeless camp. I stopped and asked somebody exactly what they were protesting. They said, and I quote, Well, I'm not sure exactly, but I think if you go down there a little ways, somebody's handing out, like, some pamphlets or something, you can take a look at those. Really? Really? You're sleeping in a tent in the middle of downtown Atlanta and you don't know why? If you're not homeless, you've got to be insane. Seriously, my thing is get organized and get specific. Maybe, and by maybe, I mean hopefully, it's different in other cities. As far as where I stand on the movement and what I think will happen, I'm just going to keep all that to myself for right now. Maybe I'll continue this around a little later. A bit of more current news, Muammar Gaddafi. I'll be honest, I really don't know how to say his first name. The self-appointed leader of Libya was found and killed by the Libyan rebels. He was, appropriately enough, pulled out of a sewer before dying from his wounds. A big woohoo, but I'm going to take the same stance on this as I did as Osama bin Laden. Celebrating a liberated country is one thing. Celebrating the death of a person, even an evil one, is something completely different. Death should never be celebrated. Is the world a better place without him in it? Yeah, I think so, but let's leave it at that. Stop watching videos of his bloodied corpse on the internet. At one point, those videos filled up the entire first page of most viewed on YouTube. What good can come of that? That's a question to ask yourself before you do anything, by the way. What good could come of this? I bet you'll start doing a lot less stupid stuff. Of course, Gaddafi's death is not going to be as big of a deal in America as Osama's was. Let's just leave it at yay and good luck to Libya. Alright, so if you did happen to catch my first vlog, you know that it wasn't that great. Why? Well, the sound quality was all... Death to ears like. Yeah, it sucked. It was actually so bad, I took it down. Really kind of bummed me out. I'll see if I can figure that out and make it better so I can continue to do those. But like I said in my vlog, and alluded to at the beginning of this video, I actually have a whole other video recorded. I just wanted to post this one before that one went up, because all this stuff was going on at the same time, and blah 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 blah, because it took too long to make it, and blah 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 blah. In any case, that video will probably be going up next week sometime. Comment question. In honor of the products, and therefore the subculture that Steve Jobs had a hand in creating, who are some of your favorite content creators on YouTube? Anyone I need to check out, or just some of your classic favorites? I'm curious. But for now, thanks for watching. Cliché YouTube phrase.